Hey, I'm uh, Dr. Uh, Bruce, and uh, I want to uh, give you like a, this is a welcome video for this semester. Right, it's uh, summer 2021, and uh, so I'm going to post these videos on YouTube. I've got a YouTube channel. Um, we'll get to that. Uh, I want to just basically give you a broad overview of the course that, you know, in the summer, right, we have basically five weeks, right, and uh, there are four tests, for instance, so um, the first two weeks don't really count, but you'll have, uh, after two weeks, you'll have exam one, and the third week, you'll have, at the end of the third week, you'll have exam two, exam four, three, and then four. Um, it, that means that if you say you don't want to do something for a couple of weeks, that could be an issue, all right? So uh, you, you really need to stay up in the summer, and every week, at least I would say twice a week, you work on the, you know, you check the announcements and, and do uh, the work. Now, there'll be an announcement uh, each week about what, what needs to be done, right? This week you should, and there'll be a long list for the summer, you know, to complete. So there'll be a checkoff list. So you'll go through each one there in the right order, uh, complete it. Um, uh, my, my office technically is on the Deland campus, but this semester I'll be teaching in the Daytona campus, so they'll be giving me an office here. Uh, I'm not sure where that'll be at this point, but I'll, I'll they'll be under my contact information. I'll put where, where it is. Like here's the, I'll probably put it down here where my office is. If you need to come by and see me, you know you can make an appointment. There's technically I think we still have what are called virtual office hours, uh, but if uh, you want a Zoom meeting, right? I can set up a Zoom where we talk, or we can set up a virtual classroom. Right in the, if you go under tools, right, there's a virtual classroom. I guess it actually takes you to a, you know, we probably have it. Bongo is the company that does it for us. But there would be a list, right? I'd probably use your name as the, or, you know, you click on that and then that would take you to a virtual classroom where I, you and I could talk. Um, so I just wanted you to be aware that, that that's possible. Be aware of this. And so technically I have virtual office hours, but any I'll, I'll be willing, as long as I'm not in class or lab, I, I'd be willing to set up you know, a time for us to talk. So in the con or under content there is a broad overview of the course, um, and it, and it, you know, it, it explains, you know, I teach it. There's a, the survey of biology is intended for non-science majors. So that means it doesn't include a lab. Now there is a lab you could take if you did require it, but it's not linked to the class. You could take the lab one semester, you could take the class one semester. Where if you took bio one, which is the other alternative, then you'd have to take the lab and the lecture together. Um, so with survey, you don't have the lab, which is kind of nice. I just want to make it clear that you have those two choices. Um, so anyway, you could, there is a textbook, but uh, it's not required. The textbook uh, is basically where I've used to uh, lecture from. I have PowerPoints that covers all the material in the course. So those, most of the figures in those PowerPoints come from this textbook in case, you know, you, you're wondering where they're from. Some people like to use them. It's not necessary, right? But I, I do have videos. They're unlisted videos, right? These videos you see here on YouTube are public viewing, you know, I'll have links to the PowerPoint videos embedded in the website, right? My 
in, not the, in the course website. So you'll click on the link and it'll take you to the YouTube video to watch. Then I also have like cell respiration. We're going to be covering that in uh, in the class too. We'll quickly cover that, but these are more like concept videos. Survey virus. Now this virus video is a is a video that uh, I cover in in survey because uh, it, it's not actually out of the textbook. So you can look at this and get a rough idea of well, you know how I explain the course material. I do have say uh, playlists for each course I teach here. I teach microbiology. I teach this course. I teach bio two. Which is, you, which is what you take after you take Bio 1, if you were to take Bio 1. But technically, like I said, you have the choice between these two, Bio 1 and Survey of Biology, and you've chosen to take the Survey of Biology. It's a little bit easier, for sure. So, these are the public videos for each <coughs> that, but, you know, I have PowerPoint presentations for the Survey of Biology for each for each chapter that we cover. Sometimes there's two PowerPoints for one chapter if the chapter was sort of big. Okay, so getting back to the textbook, you know, you don't, I don't require a textbook because I cover all the material. Most of my students have never bought textbooks, right? They just, you know, they, if, if we're in class, they come to my classes and watch me cover the PowerPoints in class because it's online. I'll do the same thing in a video. Right, which hopefully you'll find, you know, okay. If you don't watch the videos and, you know, start taking the quizzes and the exams and don't study, don't expect to do well, you know. This isn't your typical online course. You, you are, the, class, the, the, the exams and the quizzes, um, you know, you might find uh, difficult. So... Anyway, so in this video, I just wanted to kind of give you a broad overview um, of the course and then watch the next video. I'm going to make that now, too, which will go over the syllabus and some of the uh, policies that I have. Okay. Mm -hmm.